One day after Roswell Park revealed a worker swapped a narcotic drug for water in syringes for patients, we are still left with plenty of questions. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Stemler. And I'm Scott Levin. It's a disturbing crime that gave several patients infections, but it appears the Cancer Institute is not ready to talk about it. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing reached out to Roswell officials as well as the health department. Roswell Park is considered one of the best cancer centers in the nation. So when they put out a release that a staff member swapped a narcotic drug from syringes with water and several patients developed infections because of it, we have questions. Two on your side sent an email to Roswell Park and we had several questions. The first question we wanted to know is when did they know that a narcotic was swapped out with water in some of the syringes? And the other question, what was the narcotic? Important to know, especially during an opioid crisis in Western New York. We had more questions. How many patients actually developed infections? And was the employee who was responsible for this, was he or she fired or did they quit? The response from Roswell, because this issue is under active investigation, we cannot comment further. Roswell believes it was only one worker who no longer works at the hospital that allegedly swapped the narcotic. Two on your side also reached out to the Erie County Health Department. A spokesperson responded, we have no role in this investigation. This is the responsibility of the New York State Department of Health. So we contacted the State Health Department. They said the department is aware of an investigation into this incident that is being conducted by Roswell as they are the lead investigators. Please contact the facility with questions. According to Roswell, no one died and all patients affected were given antibiotics. This happened earlier this year, but what month? Well, the hospital wouldn't answer that question either. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.